In this short video, we'll offer 10 tips for licensing a patent. You need to realize that patent licensing is not always the set it and forget it arrangement that some people think it is. In fact, you'll probably need to exercise vigilance in making sure your licensee performs the way the contract says, so be prepared to do this. You also want to avoid generic best efforts clauses as the courts may interpret these in an unrealistic way. Instead, you should heed the advice in our next tip. What you should do instead is set specific numeric goals and milestones that the licensing agreement will be contingent upon. For example, you can stipulate that someone licensing your drug formula needs to obtain FDA approval by a certain date. If he doesn't, you can revoke the patent license. While it's important to have specific milestones, they must also not be arbitrary. It may sound nice to tell a licensee, you can only keep your license if you do a million in sales the first year, but this is probably not realistic. Instead, you should do some market research on what it would be reasonable to expect. One alternative to or supplement of performance obligations is to use royalty requirements. Simply put, these are stipulations that say, I can revoke this license unless you pay me X dollars in royalties. The royalties can be paid monthly, annually, or semi-annually, but the idea is that unless you get the dollar amount stated, you can revoke the patent license. Just as important as specific and non-arbitrary obligations is ensuring that both you and the licensee know how and when they are to be fulfilled. Therefore, make sure that this is clearly spelled out in the license agreement. As you can see, all of these performance obligations, milestones, and royalty requirements can seem a bit overwhelming if you're new to the field. A patent attorney is the best person to consult when this happens. They can ensure that your agreement is on the up and up and that it can be enforced down the road if necessary. If you're in a position to get some nice life-supporting residual income from a licensing deal, don't kill it by being excessively greedy. The idea is to score some nice income from your patent, not suck the other party dry. Your patent licensing agreement can be as long or as short as you and your licensee want it to be. Therefore, you should take the time to think of a length that suits you. There are two different types of patent licenses, exclusive and non-exclusive. An exclusive license is what most licensees will prefer since it grants them exclusive rights to capitalize on the patent. Non-exclusive licenses then let you, the licensor, keep the right to license the patent out to someone else. Decide which one suits you and your licensee best. Good luck!